Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a Saturday video. Yep, we are Saturday, June 8th, 2019, and uh, this video is simply to talk a little bit more about the May 2019 update, or version 1903, of Windows 10. Officially, since yesterday, pretty much all of you, or almost all of you, should see the May 2019 update appear in your Windows updates. Microsoft has confirmed yesterday that now it's available for everyone that looks to find it in Windows Update. So some of you that didn't see it yet are probably seeing it since yesterday. Now once again I want to stress out that there could be some specific hardware or software that for some of you it will prevent the uh, May 2019 update from showing up. If it, that is the case, um, I still consider that you should wait because, I mean, it's rolling out very well. Mm, the majority of everybody upgrading is upgrading very well. The thing is, if it is not showing up, it's because they know there's probably still something that's not right. But the uh, rollout is going really well because they actually have finally in a uh, very quick you know, it took some time before they actually announced that in the October 2018 update that, you know, everybody should see it. Uh, this time around, um, you know, only a few weeks after release, uh, they already are saying, well, pretty much everybody should see it now. So if you want to see it, all you have to do is go into your settings, go into Windows Update. And in the Windows Update, you'll see that there are, uh, there's a separate section. There's a Windows Update button that says your computer is up to date. But underneath you will see um, a feature, May 2019 feature update that is available. And you have a download and install now button. Of course, once again, it's not being pushed or forced on you. So if you see it and don't click the download and install now because you don't want to do it right now, you're not going to be forced on it. But be warned that if you're on the April 2018 update, you're soon to be forced on it because your version of the April 2018 update expires in November and they don't want to take a chance of upgrading everybody at the last minute so they will actually upgrade you in the next weeks um, so if you kind of see it install well that's because you're on an older version of Windows and they want you to have it but if you're on the October 2018 update for example you're not going to see this you're going to see it appear as a separate download in the section but you won't have anything forced on you uh, for now uh, so uh, to answer, you know, I still have a lot of people asking questions, a lot of people kind of not really watching the videos and asking the same questions over and over again. Uh, one of the things for sure is that it's running out well. Yes, you know, I, I get these random people here and they're saying, well, I think you're not, you know, right because I see that there's a lot of bugs and, and this um, uh, is buggy. And, you know, there are also uh, the manufacturers of PCs are not not helping also. Um, there's a few people mentioning, like uh, HP. Another one is uh, Dell saying, well, you know, you shouldn't update now because uh, it's buggy. It's buggy because they are not doing their job. It's not buggy because Windows is a problem right now. You know, one of the biggest problems with these companies is that, of course, they're not going to say, well, we're, you know, don't upgrade. You're, you're going to mess up your PC because we're not doing our job at upgrading the drivers properly. They're going to say, oh, well, don't upgrade. You know, it's a buggy Windows. And that's one of the biggest problems, I would say, with the upgrade process. Everybody's kind of, you know, uh, falling on the other, saying, well, it's the other's fault. It's not my fault when something goes wrong. Um, you know, I had HP computers in the past and devices. And I can tell you one thing. I called their support a few times to let them know that, you know, there were some problems. I remember one of my printers um, regularly printing you know, garbage. And, uh, you know, the two guys that I talked to, oh, no, no, we don't have any problems like with that on our side. It's your PC. It's too old or it has a problem. Uh, I'm sorry, but when you looked at the blog post, there were thousands and thousands of posts of, yeah, I'm, I'm getting gibberish all the time on my printer. And so, you know, it's, it's sad because Companies are not taking the responsibility when something happens. So, of course, all of that creates um, a vision and a way of thinking. And then people fall back on, well, Windows is the problem. And like I say, as a tech guy, I can tell you one thing. 
95% of the problems, if not more, are not even Windows related at all when there's something going on. And uh, it's funny because I, you know, it's understandable that people fall back on Windows or on Microsoft because that's what you have in your face. So it's the first step, and and you know, there's this general um, feel uh, among people that oh well, you know, Windows is buggy or Windows is you know full of viruses or and it's not the case. Uh, it's actually a very solid operating system. Windows 10. There were some you know problems with some of the rollouts like the October and the April 2018. But overall, you know, the majority of people are still upgrading fine, but there are and will always be a small percentage of people would have that have problems. Like I say, it's the same thing on a Mac. Look at all the people ranting when there's a new version of Mac OS. There is as many people ranting about how their P their Mac computer is now useless or has tons of bugs or is crashing all the time. Uh, like on the Windows side, we don't hear that much because there's a much smaller market in the Mac computers, and you know, uh, it's 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 just funny the way that uh, things are happening. Uh, you know, May 2019 update is very very stable and very good. It is not buggy, and uh, whoever tells you don't upgrade is buggy, don't listen. It's it's not a buggy operating system. I can tell you. I look at the blog posts. If it, there would be a major issue, you know, I ranted on the October 2018 update. I ranted somewhat on the April 2018 update also. I'm not ranting here because they did their job and they tested it really well. And it is a very good upgrade. Honestly, if you see this in your update and uh, download section, click on it and install it. You'll, you'll be okay. I mean, uh, you know, but you know, you don't have to do it right now. If your PC is okay, and it's totally understandable also that people get a little tired of all of these upgrades uh, kind of a little normal so uh, it's a safe upgrade go ahead and um, you know uh, just look at the comments here apart from a couple of comments which we will always have of people that had some issues the majority of people are upgrading fine if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching